Also, uh, we're celebrating 10 years in New York radio. 10 years ago, I guess. Today, huh? Well, we thought it, it, the listeners uh, know more than we do because we thought it was the 10 year anniversary was tomorrow. But we found out the 10 year anniversary was pretty much yesterday when we were teasing that it's going <laughs> to oh, be Friday. Oh, no. <laughs> the listeners actually know more than we do. Right, E-Rock? Yeah. It was yesterday. The tapes that we have are labeled uh, the 26th and the 27th of 98, but uh -huh. that would be a Friday and Saturday. So, re And you guys started on a Thursday, so it was we the did. 25th and the 26th of 98, which was yesterday. Does it really matter a day off? Well, it kind of does. One it, day or another if you're does. celebrating that. Yeah, does it, it? If you're celebrating 10 years, it kind of it kind of does. Yeah. Like, like Three years, five years. Not Wasn't there a leap year this year? Yeah. Oh, okay. So now we're fine. Oh, you think? They threw an extra day in, so. The, <laughs> well, what's funny, though, is um, we started know. in New York Radio 10 years ago. And we're probably two days off. <laughs> but we've only done seven years, nine months of radio. Yeah. So, all right, where do you want to begin? I mean, we do have audio from our, uh, our first New York show from 10 years ago. There you go. Really? Uh-oh. Yeah. See, Jimmy's excited because Jimmy wasn't part of our first oh, no. radio show in New York City let, ten years ago. Let me let me let me think about this for a second. Yeah. It's not like we went from Boston radio where we played our clips and cringed yeah. at some of the things we did mm -hmm. and came to New York and all of a sudden became great. <laughs> uh this is probably gonna be more over happy crappy <laughs> i just want to hear a little it's your first day in new york you're probably very excited you guys are great at <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. yeah i know you're probably right some people say that we were never better than right our wnew days so i'm From, saying yeah. the first day probably was just you know what i mean like <laughs> shut up Jimmy. no i'm actually serious <laughs> no you're actually not i really am look <laughs> the NAW days were great look, this show was before ipods before satellite radio yeah some people were still married. This was all they had. Oh, <laughs> oof. All right. Well, I certainly was happy to be there. I yeah. was happy to be anywhere but home. <laughs> well, let me just hear what this is. Good afternoon. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> all right, listen. We're going to... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. What? What's, what's up, bro? Was that you? I don't know. Was this... Oof. Let me hear that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Good afternoon. afternoon. Hey, what's up, bro? Maybe it was on purpose. They were pumping in, I remember, helium yeah. into uh, the studio at the time. Phone line, if you want to talk to us live, be kind, please. Dude, what's with your voice? <laughs> Shut up. <man. laughs> Shut up. He just... <laughs> That was the longest delay before you just like, you were trying to think of something, and then you just told me to shut up, ass. Because I'm in shock. <laughs> Yasgur's farm, Yasgur's man. Yasgur's farm, yeah. Don't eat the brown eyes. And... I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened? I thought we ruled. <laughs> I always think we rule until we play things back. Then I realize we sucked. <laughs> well, we do play a lot of stuff from the NEW days, and no one could really tell the difference. But, uh, wow. This was pretty much our first day in New York radio, New York City radio, 10 years ago, yesterday. Wow. <sighs> I, I don't know if I could do this, man. I All you were was probably, I'm guessing that you probably knew you were going to get killed because you were on a music station, and there people are going to start screaming for music. I don't know. Maybe this is not. Oh, I don't even care. I said be kind. It's just how I said it that I have a problem with. <laughs> be kind, man. Look, I'm I'm, I'm being uber cool because I'm really nervous. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Ten years ago, um, yesterday, we started with this. The Rock of New York. That's the latest from the Goo Goo Dolls. Iris off the City of Angels soundtrack. Good afternoon. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing, up? Not much. It's Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Who cares that you asked what he didn't... You answered the question Anthony didn't even ask. 
Because Anthony goes, uh, how you doing, bro? And you went, not much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You picked that up, huh? <laughs> not much. <laughs> how you doing? Not much. <laughs> what time is it? Over easy. Light What's going sugar. on? Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. These oh, were the boy. These were the days when we used to get nervous. This is the first break. Like, this is our first, absolute first break in New York. New York City, yes. Okay. Ten years ago, yes. All right. Then I could, I could deal with that. That's a little nerve-wracking. Well, then don't look at the phone lines and don't look at instant feedback. If, oh, geez. If, if you think you could deal with this. <laughs> oh, God. Sophie and Anthony, and we're back in New York. Here we are. That's right. This is good. 92 degrees in New York today. Not much oxygen out there on the streets of New York weather? either. Nothing. What the hell? I'm doing weather? <laughs> You're doing weather. What I'm, am I doing? And I'm doing smooth jazz. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> smooth jazz. <laughs> We're just out of I'm smooth jazz. Not much oxygen out there. Later I do traffic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? Oh. And I'm serious? Uh, no. Oh, Okay. Oh, my God. As long as it's kind of a goof. It's in New York either. Nothing smells quite like Manhattan on a 92-degree day. <laughs> it's the sense, because when we left, it was, uh, I think it was winter time. Yes. And that was the last time I was in. Right. And uh, the, the cold weather kind of covers up the, the fragrance of uh, stacked garbage. Uh, some of those corners, those dark hideaway corners that some people are using as bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. That, that, there's a, a bouquet that just kind of floats off of the, the stoops and stairways. But, but you know something? You gotta love it, right? Yeah, it's New York. You know you're in New York. That's true. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta tell you. Oh, no, I don't have to tell you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was really. <laughs> yeah, someone is suggesting Jared in Boston. Hey, Ope, play Misty for me. Oh. Brought, brought in some of my poetry today. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I can't go out tonight. I have to write poetry for my show. Yeah, i got a lot of writing to do tonight. Pick out records and... If you want to hear a song, 877-212-ONA. <laughs> you, you, were, you, you were smooth, given the smooth jazz delivery. <laughs> Did we just do a break on the smells of New York City? Yeah. I, I'm gives a crap? Once again, I'm just trying too hard. I'm Why? trying too hard. I, I hate to defend this, but it's your first day in New York. It's not that bad. It's like your first day in, in New York. It's not like you guys are over the top. You're just like mm. trying to not. You're trying to just not screw up. We're trying to survive. Mm. Yeah, knowing a lot of a uh, lot of big wigs are listening to our first show. So except for, except for not exactly listening to each other. Well, so how are you? <laughs> uh, Tuesday. <laughs> All right, Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, we're not listening to each other. We're just trying to blurt stuff out. Just keep the talk moving <laughs> along. Chatter, 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 chatter. Who cares there, what it is? There are a lot of humana, 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 humana. Oh. Well, I got to tell you something. Boy, I can't wait. What did I... Yeah, what did you have to tell me? What did I think me? was important... That I needed to tell all of New York. Something you gotta love it, right? Yeah, it's New York. You know you're in New York. That's true. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I gotta uh, say hi to everyone I met in Central Park last night. I've been spending the last two weeks rollerblading in the park, <laughs> and uh, man, so many nice people out there. <laughs> oh. That is such. BS. I didn't man. talk to anybody. Man, there's so many nice people out there. I gotta yeah. tell you. You know what you've heard about New York is just not true, <laughs> man. Everyone's cool. I wish you would have skated into Tippy Tom. <laughs> that would have that would have cured you of your. Hey, it's such nice people. Look, I'll take you back. I I didn't talk to anybody in Central Park. I was making <laughs> of it up. You didn't. I was trying to relate. That's what I it was is. Trying to be part of New York. See, we're trying too hard to on day one on minute three. We're trying too hard to be a part of New York already. Like, I'm walking around Central Park just introducing myself and talking to people. No one talks to each other in this city. We were two returning Long Island douches <laughs> trying to sound like we're city savvy. Yeah, making believe we're returning <laughs> returning back to New York to City. To New York City. Meanwhile, you know. Yeah, we're like, it's good to be back. We, we were yeah. never in New York uh, Radio. No, we were, we were out in Babylon. And uh, living in in Centerport and Huntington, <laughs> and that wasn't that wasn't uh, that wasn't I'm introducing myself. That was almost like there's a little buzz about us coming back on <laughs> at the park, <laughs> and, and people have been kind of coming hey, up. People coming up talking, you know, nice people. You know, 
I wish someone would have put a cobblestone over your head. <laughs> Thank God everybody I met in Central Park. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know? This guy behind the tree waving their hogs at me. And was <laughs> yeah. that gang wilding on that uh, yeah. jogger. Just, yeah. just nice people. <laughs> How much do I need to be loved? <laughs> we are just relating, of Two weeks yeah. rollerblading in the park. Mm -hmm. And, uh, man, so many nice people out there. <laughs> but... <laughs> What, I am what part of you played? <laughs> Dude, when did I de decide to be a dick? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, who is this guy? Oh, God. Oh, it's awful. Man, so many nice people. Man, <gasps> let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you, so many nice people. <laughs> What, I am what part of you played? <laughs> Dude, the mayor has cleaned up the park. It's a it's a fun place now. Care Giuliani has done a, a fine job. You're right. Yes, but uh, it kind of sucked last night. We're around uh, 72nd Street, mm -hmm. and we got stuck behind some road races. I wish I knew this going into the park last night. I saw that. I saw a bunch of people with numbers, right. like like if, as if they were running a race or something. It was but... like some kind of corporate challenge. So I'm hanging out with uh, some of my rollerblading buds that mm -hmm. I've met so far. <laughs> I don't. I, I who don't are have, you? Wait a I don't have rollerblading buds. Who did you? Ha who are you hanging out with? No, I was making this up. We were in New York for four days before the, our first show, <laughs> and I'm making believe I've been back in my penthouse apartment, yeah. hanging out with my old pals. With your rollerblading go. buds. I didn't have rollerblading <laughs> buds. Of course you didn't. We got it to one guy once in all the years I've <laughs> I've skated in the park. What am, What am I doing? Yeah, we were living in a hotel. <laughs> right. <laughs> we make it sound like we were hanging out in New York for weeks or a oh, month yeah. before our first show. I'm telling you. Hope was making rollerblading buds. <laughs> yeah, I got to tell you. The voice is what's killing me. It's not even like the old AAF, hey, how you doing voice. Yeah. You, 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 you tamed it down a bit. Yeah, well, yeah. you you were being like cool. Well, it was the legendary WNEW, so you know you had to, yeah, yeah, you had to have that delivery, I guess. And we knew everybody was watching and, or listening, and ugh. I like the I like the the rollerblade and uh, buds because it makes you sound like that gang from the Warriors, a bunch <laughs> of guys in Yankee uniforms with bats right into the park, hitting <laughs> <getting> people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, let's uh, get back to this. It was like some kind of corporate challenge. So I'm hanging out with uh, some of my rollerblading buds that I've met so far, right? And uh, this race goes by, and I'm like, this sucks. How long is this going to take before we can start skating again, you know? And it's a, and then I look closer, and I'm like, wait, there's no women racing. It's all guys. And I'm like, this really sucks. So that race goes to look at. Yeah. Right, that race goes by, and then I, I, I start skating again. And five minutes later... Yeah, baby. Free <laughs> free fun in New York City. All of a sudden, it's another race, but it's all women. Oh, that's good. Okay. There's nothing better than watching women run. <laughs> really? Sure. Nothing better? <sighs> Why? Because their boobies bounce up and down, you hack. Um, by the way, I just want to get this in. Scattered thunderstorms today, high of 84. Currently, it's partly cloudy and 73. <laughs> 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 oh my god am i trying way too hard yeah yeah watching women run <laughs> all right so we're checking it out and we're at one of the water stations <laughs> right. true story only in new york all of a sudden there's a city worker with one of those city hoses right and you know the first part of a road race it's all the really good runners and stuff and they're going and going and going back of the pack is kind of the people that just want to you know run to run right the guy like in the gorilla suit sure trying to make a statement sure, all yeah. that. but it, it, this no was the ladies race the, the guy with the hose <laughs> turned it into a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> Jesus. So me and a bunch of guys on the side are like, yes, this is, this is so much better than going to one of those damn theme makes... restaurants, you know? <laughs> I have to... oh. You're making so many friends. Yeah. Me and a few guys on the side. You're talking yeah, just, to everybody. Yeah, I'm just a babbling ass, <laughs> just making friends as I go. Run Around Park Eddie is saying, uh, this is the douche and chill show. <laughs> 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 Very funny. If you're just tuning in, we're listening to our first show of... In New York City, <laughs> 10 years ago, yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Damn theme restaurants, you know? I have to start getting a little more athletic. Yeah, well, me and Ant have been in uh, hotels for the last two weeks. I, I leave my hotel, and I, Ant I doesn't. in front of the computer, yeah. yeah. All right. I'll get out. I'll get out more. You got him. Yeah. There's so much going on in the streets of New York. Yeah. I see. All right, well, we're here. We're warming up. If you want to get a hold of us, the fax number is button of -E Phone line, if you want to talk to us live, be kind, please. 212-1-0-N-E-W, where rock lives.
That's the problem. It was hard to understand the fun. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was backwards. <laughs> backwards. Why do we like block out the number? Who gives a crap? I don't think they they exist mm. over there anymore. Mm. Call us up at. Wow! 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 How many songs did you guys have to play when you when you did that? How much? Hopefully hour? twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully twelve an hour. Wow! What <laughs> stinkeroo! Baby. Two weeks. We, we you even said we were in New York for two weeks before our first show. That just is not true. And we were trying so hard to be part of New York's the, the ambiance of New York. Well, just him making all these friends. I'm in the park, me and my rollerblade and buds. There's chicks running by with water on their breasts. It's <laughs> lunacy, folks. You're, you're talking to the other other guys about it. Just relating to the guy. Hey, Oops, nudging a guy with his elbow. Hey, hey, look at this. And he's like, yeah, what are you doing for dinner tonight? We'll go out. Nice bazongas, I'll say. <laughs> I'm so, so wedding. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, E-Rock, you had something? Um, yeah, you, you guys signed on a little after 310. It's because you had songs to play from the top of the hour. before. Oh, we came, came out of some music, man. Ah. All right, we got a few more clips from our first show in New York City 10 years ago, yesterday. Ugh. 10 years ago yesterday. And we're going to do some new stuff today, obviously. 877-212-ONA. <laughs> so. It's Opie and Anthony. You want to get back to the NEW tapes? Sure. Jimmy Ugh. does. You bet I do. So 10 years ago yesterday, we, uh, we started in New York City Radio. And uh, listening to our first show at WNEW, Wow. It's, uh, it's quite different than what we're doing today. It's painful. <laughs> and a lot of people out there think uh, we were never better than our WNEW days. Well, of course, weren't we? I, I think Amazing. we needed like the first three to six months to kind of warm up. And then uh, I think we found our voices. Mm -hmm. I got to defend us because it's this is just horrible to listen to. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> and then there was no looking back after that point. But uh, the first show, we were just... We were just so nice and just happy to be there. It's it's ugh. trying to be accommodating to everyone around us. It's just awful to have to listen to. <laughs> it really is. Not for Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy it's loves it. It's not that it. bad actually. It's not. Uh the first uh the first dice appearance. The first time Anthony did dice in New York City radio. It doesn't really sound much like dice. <laughs> Ten years ago what happened? Yesterday. This went down. You're unbelievable. Oh. Oh. The rock of New York, EMF, and unbelievable. With a little guest uh, from Dice in there. When it used to be relevant, though, <laughs> Pete. That's when I used to be a star. That's the I could get into a, a, a club and, and knock them dead, oh, <laughs> Yeah, what happened to you, Dice? I don't know. <laughs> now I, I, I don't even get through the jokes no more. <laughs> I go, hickory dickory duck. Big, 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 big. <laughs> you know, last time I saw Dice, that's what he did. He doesn't even do his act anymore. No, he doesn't. He just kind of starts it off and figures everyone knows it, so he, why yeah. bother? So I'm online with this chick at the bank, and I... <laughs> Wait a minute. Wasn't there more to that dice? Yeah, exactly. I'm smoking a cigarette. This chick comes up to me, and I say... <laughs> a what? Yeah. What dice? <laughs> really not that bad. Wow. It's fine. Wow. Um, mm. uh, we, mm. we said uh, about 20 minutes ago that there's a break in here where Anthony's doing traffic. Yeah. We'll get to that a little later this morning, but Kevin has something to say about that. Kevin in Connecticut, what's up? Hi, guys. Hey, man. Welcome back, Jimmy. Thank you. Anthony, you've come full circle, my friend. You started off doing the traffic, and now you're dating a hot girl in New York doing the traffic. Oh, look at that. See, you always, <laughs> you always had a thing for traffic, Anthony. Yeah, something about that traffic just got me, I guess. Yeah. Blood. <laughs> All right, thank you, Kevin. And uh, what's kind of interesting about Anthony doing dice, that became a regular thing. Club Soda Kenny heard that yep. and uh, told the real dice that there's someone in New York doing a, a very good impression of dice. And then Dice finally came on our show, and, uh, you know, we had a pretty good relationship with the guy mm -hmm. over the years. All right, uh, another break from 10 years ago. Anthony and I, first show, New York City Radio <sighs> at WNEW. Good afternoon, it's Opie and Anthony. Hola. Getting lots and lots of phone calls from all our old pals. This is kind of neat. It's like a homecoming, huh? It certainly is. is. No one was calling us. Lots and lots of phone calls. Absolutely no one. <laughs> was calling us. Uh, we were trying to make believe that we used to do New York City radio, got kicked out, and now we're back. 
No one cared. <sighs> we were just two new douches on, <laughs> on the radio. <laughs> douches. Acting like we were returning heroes. Oh, I, I don't... Um... The people that knew we were moving back to the New York area were our family and friends. Yeah. And we were getting those phone calls at our houses or in our hotel rooms. Yeah, that's it. But no one was calling the radio station saying, welcome back. No. We were never there. <laughs> Homecoming, huh? It certainly is. And faxes. Also, yeah, speaking of faxes, I want to say hi to Vince Skelsa. Hey, yeah, he faxed in a welcome. He faxed us a welcome to NEW. Best wishes. That is so cool. Is it's, it? it's not cool. He hated us. Vince Skelsa and the rest of them. Hated us. Could not stand us. And we hated them back. The only one we didn't hate was uh, Scott Muni. Yeah. It was a class act right to the end. But the rest of these guys, they hated us. <sighs> they used to hang faxes in the studio saying, you know, uh, from listeners that just did not like us, didn't want us on <laughs> WNEW. So these yeah. guys, instead of reading the faxes and maybe throwing them away, they actually, and this is a true story, st uh, Stunt Brain, they would hang them around the studio. So when we came in, we would have to see these uh, faxes hanging yeah. there. They were a bunch of douches. <laughs> douches. <laughs> Twishes. That is so cool. It's so weird to be here because, uh, I mean, just like everyone in New York, I, I grew up listening to NEW. Legendary station. By the way, that's not true. <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just, I'm just calling it how I see it. I didn't, just, I didn't listen to any W. They were too eclectic for me. Bunch of liars. Listened, we're just lying. I listened to Long Island rock stations growing up, <laughs> and I listened to talk shows. I listened to a lot of talk shows growing up. It's not true. This is not true. You're looking. You're making it look like you were just like on, like uh, with your 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 chin propped up in your hands, staring right. at the radio, and now your local boy made good. Yeah. Local boy made good. <laughs> I listened to uh, PLJ growing up. When P they were like a rock station back then. I I grew up listening to NEW, legendary station. And, and just to be walking around in in these hallways the last two weeks and hanging out with Scott Muni and Carol yeah. Miller, mm. it's just been uh, surreal. Scott's got some cool stories. He just doesn't tell on the air. No. And I'm not going to take the liberty of, you know, telling these stories. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, why would you add? Why would I do that? <laughs> why? why would I add something interesting to the uh, show? I love, oh. the, I love the tease with no payoff. Wow, we're hearing unbelievable stories in these hallways. But, great. But you know what? We can't say them on the air. Oh, you ought to that, hear them. That would be crazy. Well, you just, you know, like you, you put it well, like a died in the wool New Yorker. You were like, I don't want to take the liberty. Of, of of saying that you didn't want to take liberties. Why take liberties? <laughs> now someone tells us a story in the hall. We can't wait to get on. We'll push people out of the way to, to turn the mics on. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but they found a polyp. Oh my god! Get us on the air. Yeah. <laughs> get, guess whose job is going to be open soon? <laughs> right? we, we wouldn't even hesitate back then. Oh, we're we're hearing all sorts of crazy stuff, but. It's not our place, guys, to, to tell these stories. Oh, my God. We stink. Take liberties. In the air? No. And I'm not going to take the liberty of you know, <laughs> telling these stories. Right. Maybe one day we'll get him in here and, and he'll, he'll loosen up and tell, and tell him. We would love to hear some of those oh stories. Oh, my on the God. Air. His Keith Moon story is priceless. Yeah. So priceless that you're not going to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah, why tell it? I don't even remember what it is. I don't think it was that big anyway. I think they were just hanging out, drinking whiskey in his office. I really don't Ooh. remember. Ooh. I don't remember, but... It's not or, like they're out banging broads and you know, getting into fights. You didn't want to take liberties, and his story was priceless. The two of you, you should have charm bracelets on your wrists <laughs> we, with grandchildren on them. To yeah, the yeah, we're just like two old yentas, <laughs> old grandmothers, <laughs> just talking about nothing. Who was listening to this crap? His Keith Moon story is priceless. Yeah. <laughs> Truly priceless. There could be so, no price put on it, it It's been fun so saying. far. We'll, uh, we'll keep it going. It certainly has. It certainly has. It certainly has. It certainly we'll, has. And we'll keep it going. It's been so we? much fun. I, yeah. How about we move on to other stuff? I'll hear a little more. It's an anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy sucks. Ten years ago, Jimmy. Ten years. I want to make sure people know that. Ten years ago, we sounded like this. Yeah. Also, uh, did you hear about this uh, A Day in the Garden? 
Yeah, what's going on here? This is going to be very, very... Well, I guess you haven't heard because you said, yeah, what's going yeah, on here? Yeah, what's going on here? In other words, I know exactly what this is, but, uh, oh, hey, what's going on? You tell uh, tell everybody. Because we're just talking, me and you. There's no audience out there. It's Just trying to get the info out there yeah. to everybody. You hear about this day in the garden? Yeah, yeah, what is that? Well, it's a hacky uh, concert they put together. That we had a <laughs> hacky concert. That we had to promote the hell out of. El, El Stinko. <laughs> What's going on here? This is going to be very, very cool. It's a two-day musical uh, music festival out there in that damn farm where it all started. Yasger's Farm, Yasger's man! Yasger's Farm, yeah. Don't eat the brown eyes. And this year it's going to be Don't Eat the Brown Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see that jerk? Oh, good lord. <laughs> and a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. Okay, terrific. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. That's terrific. We cakes for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my yeah. new favorite thing to pile on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the sound effect pile on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, people. Ah, don't take that brown bag. Hey, I sold it, though. <laughs> you certainly did. I was, I was very confident. We don't eat the brown Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> Times have changed, you know. <laughs> but uh, two days outdoors and uh, Friday, August 14th. Fine lineup. Don Henley, Stevie Nicks, Ziggy Marley, and 10 years after. And then on Saturday. <laughs> what is fine about that <laughs> That's a fine lineup, oh. oh. I got to hear that fine lineup again. Oh, that is a fine lineup. <laughs> Wait, let me. But, uh, two days outdoors and uh, Friday, August 14th. Fine lineup. Don Henley, Stevie Nicks, Ziggy Marley, and 10 years after. Oof. Ten years after had one hit. <laughs> Ten years Ziggy after. Marley never really made it. No. Stevie Nicks Stevie is now, Nicks. even ten years ago, is old and fat. <laughs> oh, God, this is a fine lineup. Well, Don Henley, don't forget. This is yeah, like well, rocking. Don Henley. <laughs> Oof. Uh, wow. It's a fine lineup. Oof. Wow. Yeah. It's only four bands, you mentioned, over two days. Yeah. I know it's funny. We came from AF in Boston. And we were like playing Metallica, Nirvana, oh. Disturbed, Rage Against the Machine, and now we're selling a ten years after concert, like it's, yeah. like it's, like it's, uh, you know, Kurt Cobain's last show. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie Nicks, Ziggy Marley, and Ten Years After, and then on Saturday, Pete Townsend, Joni Mitchell, Lou Reed, Richie Havens, Freedom. I yeah. love the I love the Woodstock movie to this day. I bet Richie Haven. You know what? I've never seen the Woodstock movie. <laughs> you are just full of... You're a liar. You're just a liar. To this day, I think I've seen parts of it once. <laughs> but you love it. Yeah, it's one of my favorites to this day. You're just, you're just full of crap. <laughs> I just wanted to be light. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't give a crap. Freedom! I love, yeah. the, I love the Woodstock movie to this day. I bet Richie Haven still has the same guitar. The one with the hole in it right. from the Woodstock movie. Yeah. Right. I said right because I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah, right. And if he, let's, let's go for if he does have it. Now what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, now really. What? Who cares? Why do you care about his dumb guitar with a hole in oh, it? Oh, I don't know. Who's enjoying that driving? Oh, he, I bet he does have the same guitar. <laughs> Funny, I was thinking that. You're a liar! <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. You're a liar! Yeah, I'll just play that clip every time I'm lying. Goddamn liar! That's what I play now. Still has the same guitar. The one with the hole in it. Right. The Goddamn oh, liar! He puts his Viagra in there. <laughs> but tickets oh, are going to go no, on sale. I had go to go with the Viagra twice. because, you know. It worked so well the first time. <laughs> That's New York. You do callbacks. <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy is the worst. He's just this pandering ass. <laughs> Viagra in there. <laughs> but tickets are going to go on sale this Saturday morning at 10 a.m. And right here on the radio, we're going <laughs> to... I'm laughing. Cause... Oh, I know. The, the, the chuckling that's going on. <laughs> They're going to go on sale this Saturday morning at 10 a.m. <laughs> and right here on the radio, we're going to be giving away tickets to the, the festival all weekend Ooh, long. Are we? Tomorrow, right? Very good. Very good. Oh, man. 
<laughs> wow, is this uh, You're a liar. <laughs> this is painful. You know, I want to like um get out of my chair, walk over to E-Rock and punch him in the face. <laughs> Cuz E-Rock writes Opie's intro to Dire Straits' uh, song here. Oh, no. And then he has to write in parentheses, just an odd intro. <gasps> what does that mean, e -Rock? Let's say, what would you do if we could um, hop in the time machine mm -hmm. and go back to this exact moment uh, when, when this was happening? Well, back to the future action? Yeah. We hop in the DeLorean. Yeah. Take off, 88 yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. We go back 10 years ago, and we... Uh, we walk into the studio and see that version of Opie and Anthony sitting there. What do we do? Well, we'd have to stop at the hardware store and get a couple of sledgehammers. <laughs> <laughs> Just come up behind them. Oh, yeah. Because if they see us, that's a problem. You could cause some kind of a, a, a time um, vortex. I would grab my old self. And just shake them and yeah. go, what are you doing? Stop lying. What are you doing? I'd smack myself and go, and go. stop laughing at everything. Right. Everything isn't that funny. I would have said, what are you doing? You didn't want this job. <laughs> you and Anthony wanted to work at K-Rock. <laughs> they effed you at the last moment. So you had to take this stupid job. At this so that awful doesn't mean station. you have to make believe you like this crap. Yeah, it's not a fine lineup. We had the weirdest uh, situation. We had K-Rock here in New York and NEW both wanting us. Uh, we believe to this day that uh, Howard had something to do with us not getting afternoons at K-Rock at the last moment. Whatever. Yeah. Water under the bridge. <laughs> eh. So then we uh, had to go to NEW because we wanted to work in New York City. Yeah. And boy, did that station need Viagra. <laughs> 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 All right, let's hear the, um, according to E-Rock, the odd intro. <laughs> odd intro. 1027 WNEW, where rock lives. Here's Dire Straits, the walk of life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rock wasn't, wasn't living at that place. Dire Straits? Yeah. Mm. Selling a Dire Straits song? All right. I don't think anyone wants to hear any more of this. Oh. oh. Ten years ago. So. I think a bit more when we come back. Just no. It's a celebration. What a, yeah, it is a real celebration. Yeah, look at all the balloons. I'm getting uh, some um, pal talkers saying, oh, my God, Opie sounds like E-Rock when E-Rock does his uh, radio guy thing. Hmm. We had a good thing going up there in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts. And then we kind of threw all that out, out the window on the way home or something. And then we decided to be like nice guys. Mm. We already started being dicks. Yeah, what happened? We were just scared. We were real like asses in, in Massachusetts. At the end of our run, yeah. certainly. I mean, we were, we were pretty vicious. Mm -hmm. We'd gotten into battles with just about every jock up there. Yeah. Destroyed them. Yeah. Uh, we we were nasty. We were getting in trouble all the time for for um, a lot of sexual content and things like that. And then we we sit down in the, in the seats in New York and come off like like Jimmy said, two grandmas. We should be uh, knitting. This is awful. <laughs> I guess we had just had to kind of wait, like wait it out, because we didn't know what uh, what the landscape was whatsoever. Mm. Ugh. <laughs> All right, uh, Tim made this. Oh, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. It's Opie and Anthony's 10th anniversary celebration. You gotta love it, right? Yeah, it's New York. You know you're in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Sean in North Carolina. Sean. Oh, you said that uh, Rock didn't live at N.A.W., Apparently, neither did talent. Oh, oh Sean. <laughs> I'm, I miss Buzz Buckley. Oh, Sean. That's just hurtful. I'm, I'm sorry I did that. Uh, Mike Jersey. <laughs> hey, I was going to say, it sounds like back then you guys just uh, 
it, it was just like background music. Like people would just have it on in the car and not really listen. <laughs> <laughs> just as talking noise. <laughs> right. Just to hear some type of words coming out of someone's mouth. I think that's why the delivery was like this, because we wanted to just blend in with everything yes. else. Yeah, you don't have to. Please really don't listen. listen to what I'm saying because I know I'm saying nothing. Yeah, don't listen. Please. That's what I'm what I'm pretty much saying by using this delivery. That this part of the the radio show will be over soon, and we'll be back to your music. Yeah, you were bridging bridging a little bit, trying to bridge people from what they were used to into what you were doing. Yeah. Uh, let's go to John in Connecticut, John. Hey, I just tuned in. I just got up. Sorry, but is this the new show we're attacking? These guys are terrible. I didn't get the number, though. <laughs> let, me, let me call in. <laughs> Punch it out. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll have more uh, more audio from our first show in New York City. What Ten a years treat. ago yesterday. Total treat. <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore, he's on fire today. He writes, hey, Ope, at what point did you guys decide it would be a good idea to talk more? Because remember, we were explaining yeah. that yesterday that we needed to talk more because the music wasn't getting the job done. So as you listen to this crap, Anthony and I decided not only we, we need to talk more, we need to be dropping music because we're just doing a really good job here. <laughs> I think we were listening to the PD a lot. I think he he actually told us, look, talk about New York. Mm. Um yeah, you don't have to be so, uh, yeah, open yourself up a little more. You don't have to be so shocking and things. I, I really think we took his advice. Yuck. Well, you're just trying to kind of like connect a little bit. Like yeah, that. I think we listened for like a week, and then we turned into the douches that we uh, that we are today. What do you think so far, Jimmy? awful. It's just the two guys are a little nervous. I mean, because uh, I, I met you not too long after, a couple of years after, I guess like 2000. So it's it's like you don't go from being bad to being as good as the show was uh, in two years. It was just you know probably first day jitters. You come out to a jitters. legendary music station. Uh, you're in. The, I, I got to get. I mean, you know, it, it's not like when you listen to the old stuff. You can tell you just you just like you know, you know. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Better better now that I'm with you. Okay, you know, it's like <laughs> you guys had settled down and you know you're doing your thing. Settle down. He, he's already doing dice and you know it's, you can just you get to see. All this right, is not, we're revving up. Yeah, it's, just, it's hard to say your first. Day. I'd love to hear a week in. And hear how that happy to be there is kind of fading. <laughs> Dicks. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That would actually be the good audio. Yeah. Where did we make the turn? Actually, we have audio of uh, making the turn that we're going to get to maybe tomorrow. Mm. The famous Carol Miller tapes. Yeah. We weren't being polite or nice anymore. No. And this was probably a couple months in. So, Jimmy, this is pretty much what you're yeah. talking about. Where we made her, like, stay in the mail room until we, like, walked past her and all sorts of crap. True stories, uh, Stunt Brain. <laughs> Some brain's learning a lot by uh, hanging with us. You heard the stories, right? Yep. Over the years? Oh, They're yeah. all true, my friend. All Except right. for Opie making friends in the park. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was just an outright lie. <laughs> friends. <laughs> Buds in the park. Welcoming us back uh, on the phone. You made, you made it seem yeah. like it was a hero's return. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. We're finally back, and they're coming up to me in the park going, really? You wow, guys again? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Congrats. You know, I'm a real treat making friends wherever I go. Rollerblade and looking at topless chicks. It's madness already, <laughs> folks. Mm -hmm. You ain't seen nothing yet. Pandemonium. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the audio from 10 years ago. 1027 WNEW, where rock lives, bad company, and can't get enough of oh, God, your love. Oh, awful playlist. Oh, I oh. hate NEW's playlist. Bad company. I, I never enjoy it. I'm surprised you didn't say bad co. Bad co. Little bad co. It's Bad Co from Bad Co off of Bad Co. <laughs> Your love. And unfortunately, I ran out of tokens anyway, so. Oh, my God. Okay, wait a minute. All right, Obi's, Obi's getting up and he's leaving. He's what? leaving his post. <laughs> I know what this is about. Wait a minute. <laughs> Erock's just sitting there laughing. Yeah. He loves this stuff. So you can't get enough of your love because I'm at a peep show, and, right? And I ran out of quarters. So. It's all theater of the mind, Opie. You so, really so painted a picture there. So the loving is now gone, right? Oh, no more loving for me. Company and can't get enough of your love, and unfortunately, I ran out of tokens anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that break. I thought it was another hysterical. Day, right? You really thought it was funny. <laughs> I laughed. 
at everything. <laughs> I laughed at everything. Can we hear Anthony laugh again, please? <laughs> Jesus, Jimmy, look, thanks. Look, Anthony knows comedy. What can I tell oh, you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what can I tell you? Not a tokens anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that break on another day, right? Sure. Pea oh. plan. <laughs> Pea plan rules. It's like Disney here in New York. Is it? Is it really like Disney? No. Just like it, Ope. Just like Disney. Just like it. It's cool, though. They own 42nd Street now. <sighs> this is painful. And another story we're going to get to another day because, you know, we don't want to give everybody the good stuff on, on day one. I am a chuckling <laughs> ass. Just it doesn't matter what anyone is saying. If they intended to be funny, I would just let. Let me feel better about myself and look at my girlfriend. <laughs> Aww, that makes us feel better about ourselves too. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. See, kids, you could be somebody. Jeez, like Disney here in New York. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the Disney stores are taking over the the yeah. plan uh, shops. That's true. You really got to hunt to find them these days. Times have definitely changed since the last time we were in New York. I I must I say. Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. What was that that you had to hunt to find them these days? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's got to pick up on every little nuance. <laughs> you suck. I have hunt to find them these days. These days. And then uh, I have to say, times have changed since we were last in New York City. The last time I was in New York City was probably for a Deep Purple show when I was in high school. Mine was a field trip to the Museum of Natural <laughs> History when I was in the sixth grade. We act like I'm out there, you know, working the streets, yeah. hustling. We act like we were always part of New York, but oh, we had to go yeah. away for a few years. Going to the, the city for me was going to Huntington Village. That was the city. <laughs> <laughs> times have changed since we were last in New York well, City. Let me tell you, times have changed. I could come in without a permission slip. I don't. <laughs> I don't even think I ever spent a, a, a night Horrible. in New York City before we got uh, no. the job at NEW. What am I <laughs> no. talking about? <laughs> we stink. We would go on the Long Island Railroad to see a, a show at Madison Square Garden, and then we'd go home. What am I talking about? I wasn't part of this city. Yeah, do you ever stay in? No. No, get on I that train. afford it. Get back to White Trashville. All right, uh, let's move on with this one. It's Opie and Anthony, new guys at NEW. What do you got there? I see uh, a familiar name at the bottom of that. I uh, got a fax from Dave Herman. Oh, and Dave Herman sued us. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? He hated us, too. <laughs> from day one, from all day of these one. classic jocks Hated us. And the only reason they were faxing and calling and stuff, because they knew, oh, th they can't possibly be on the radio a week or two from now, so we should be polite and be nice to Yeah, them. we'll be nice because they, they're they so bad, they're just going to get the boot. True story, Dave Herman sued us. Yeah. For millions of dollars. He hated our guts. They were, they started hanging up faxes. I said, I, I told Oh, you that. did, yeah, yeah the people... They were they were awful to us. Yeah, they hated us from day one. What were we trying to schmooze them for? Because uh, we were nice. We no, were the new guy. No, because anyone who was uh, listening to NEW back then loved these jocks. For for what reason? I really couldn't tell you. And then we realized we had to just purge those people. Right, but we had to kind of fit in with these guys. So we figured if you know if 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 they're talking nice about us we we should let uh, everyone out there know look yeah. they like us so maybe you should like so, us too yeah you please like us it was all psychological please like us but herman hated us he sued it's us. It's Opie and Anthony, new guys at NEW. What do you got there? I see uh, a familiar name at the bottom of that. I uh, got a fax from Dave Herman. Wait a minute. O and a, you guys question, sound... What? Here's how it works. Uh, here's how it worked at NEW. Opie and Anthony sat across from each other. They look at each other, and there was a couple of feet of space. So how was Opie holding a paper? And you going, hey, what is that? There's a familiar name at the bottom. <laughs> how would you, I don't understand. First of all, how would you, A, see any of it? But B, how would you only see Dave Herman at the very bottom when he's facing it away from you? How did that happen? It's called fear of the mind. Jimmy. I don't know, Jimmy. I'm trying to think now and figure out how I saw that name. Hmm. We were just bestest pals back oh, then. Oh, yeah. How we just hey. hate each other. We're doing this for a paycheck. <laughs> All right, I said it. But no matter how yeah, I said it. Jeez. <laughs> what happened? Hey, what have you got there, Ope? Now that, you know, Jeez. CW from Scranton writes, Hey, what have you got there, Ope? 
Oh, I've got a telegram from Gerald Ford. <laughs> By the way, it's Travis terrible. points out something uh, good, apparently. Yeah. Did Anthony say peep shows are taking over and then agrees with Opie and says you can't find them anymore? <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> Why wouldn't I just agree? Agree, agree. Be agree, likable. Agree, agree. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Laugh, agree, laugh, agree. Agree, agree, laugh, agree, agree, laugh, agree, laugh, laugh. laugh, laugh. laugh. <sighs> As I'm sitting there, please like me, please like me, please like me. Hey, what's that little uh, <laughs> what's that little thing there jotted down in the corner that I can't see? But yet I know it's a familiar name. Why don't familiar you, uh, name on there, uh, Opie. <laughs> what uh, what is that? Yeah, sitting across from each other and, and papers away from you. You picked up on that, <laughs> and you asked about that. You didn't say, "Hey, what's the Dave Herman thing about?" You went, "What? What is that?" Like, what what you is that? Hey, it looks like a familiar name on there. I'm setting it up for something big. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody what that is? What is it, a subpoena? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, what phonies. What phony crocs of crap we were. Look, I could, uh, I could say this much. Dave Herman did hate us, and he had a guy. I could say this much. He had a guy that was pretty much wire uh, 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 tapping us. <laughs> I was taping our, our conversations. I swear, yes. And this guy acted like he was our pal, yep. and he was secretly taping Anthony and I in the studio when we weren't on the air. Off mic. Talking yeah. badly about everybody, and, and obviously the, you know, the court said, look, this is wiretapping. Yeah. You, you can't Jesus. use this in the case. Inadmissible. But it is a fact. Somebody was taping us when we weren't on the air. This was the real environment we were in. Agree, agree. Laugh, laugh, laugh. It's Opie and Anthony, new guys at NEW. What do you got there? I see uh, a familiar name at the bottom of that. I uh, got a fax from Dave Herman. <laughs> O&A, you guys sound great. Welcome to the team. Very cool. Thanks, Dave. And, wow. uh, and Vince Skelsa, he, yep. he sent in a fax to welcome us. Carol Miller popped her head in. Mm -hmm. Tony Pig's uh, roaming the hallways, and he's uh, given us his best so far. Scott's yeah, talking about his ball cancer. Stop <laughs> about your dumb ball cancer. <laughs> That's what he talked about. I like you know, giving us. I, his, I survived ball cancer. Giving us his best so far. So Listen to the way you said so far. So far. Giving us his best so far. Listen to the way you said that. And you know how radio works. These guys uh, <laughs> were were complimenting us and stuff because they knew. Look, look, they ain't gonna last. Yeah, we feel sorry for them. <laughs> Little did they know. Exactly. You would destroy the empire they had built their whole lives. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Agree, agree, laugh, laugh. Laugh, laugh, agree, agree, <laughs> laugh. Laugh, laugh. Time to agree, agree, agree. Please like me, please like me. Agree, <laughs> agree, laugh, laugh, laugh. Oh. And he's uh, given us his best so far. Scott's has been in his office Scott. listening. He's He waited till yeah. we were on the air yeah. to check out. What, what what we were doing, uh -huh. and it's cool because uh, if you ever saw Scott's office, <laughs> oh my God, it is like a rock and roll museum in there. We can make a lot of money. Just put the velvet ropes up in front of his yeah. uh, office, and we could charge agree, admission. And let people go in there, and you, know, you can tell them about what the pictures are. Yeah, here's where I was pretty intoxicated with Keith Moon. <laughs> That's what he told us today. Yeah. I thought yeah, I wasn't going to tell the story. Oh, my God. That's what he agree. told me today. Laugh. Agree. <laughs> Scotza was in his office listening to this. I'm surprised it didn't end like Brooks in Shawshank. <laughs> and him just swinging from an I-beam. I can't take this. They've destroyed my station. Look how, uh, look how excited I am because Anthony told a story that Scott Muni actually told us. Uh, uh, he told us today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he knows. That's how it used to be. I mean, how many pic how many people have a picture with Keith Moon? Not many. A lot, you know? probably. Out of all the people. Oh, in the who? What do you think? How you many photos? people have a picture of Keith Moon? Hundreds of thousands, perhaps. Yeah, but yeah. that, uh, you know, that was still cool to me. Well, yeah. that's the picture uh, right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's Put that up on onaradio.com today. It's very cool, but he's acting I mean, like a Honus cool Wagner picture. card. Honus <laughs> 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 Wagner card. God Almighty! How many people have circled the moon while while all uh, and uh, we got it? It's a lot. It's just I was very happy. And agree, agree, agree. And let it be known, not a bad word to say about Scott Muni. Yeah, the guy was a class act. I never met him. It was the other guys. Ugh. Is that Keith Moon holding the microphone? Yeah. Yep.
Not many. You know? Out of all the people, because I, I grew up listening to NAW, uh, of, know. of all the people You're a liar. That I was nervous to meet <laughs> around here, I mean, Carol Miller was cool, and Dave Herman, and Tony Pig, and the, the rest. Scott. Scott Muni. Yeah. It was just like, oh, uh, hi, Scott. How are you? Legend, man. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. We won't blow up this place on you. <laughs> but you did. Oh, you know? We won't. We absolutely did. <laughs> did. We blew the place up on everybody. <laughs> Exactly. Well, don't worry, we won't blow this place <laughs> up on you. Don't worry, you've been playing rock and roll for 40 years. You're leaving it in good hands. That's going to come to an end. <laughs> A mere four years later. Uh, what are they doing now, fresh? Yeah, we didn't blow it up, huh? Your name should have been the Molotov and Cocktail Show. <laughs> <laughs> wow, if that wasn't uh, telling, huh? Oof. Don't worry, we won't blow up this place. And then we exactly what we did. Just blow it up. Hi, Scott. How are you? Legend, man. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. We won't blow up this place on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I know. It's scary. Because <laughs> he goes, great. I'm going to be listening to your, your, your first show today. So I said, oh, no. I said, please don't be harsh. He goes, Not, no, I will be harsh. It's all fun. <laughs> all fun. I'm like, okay. Thank you, Mr. Muni. I'm going to go hide in this corner for a little longer <laughs> before our first air shift at NEW. <laughs> Laugh, oh, laugh, like. agree. Laugh, laugh, laugh. How please much fun like was me. it? Please like me. Please Wilzak! like me. One flag of fun. Wilzak! Yeah. <laughs> not too intimidating around here, huh? No, not at all. Hey, the management of NAW wants us to do traffic. So, uh, right. Anthony, the traffic report for all the fine folks uh, on the highways and byways. All right. The traffic is uh, pretty much in the same spots it's been for the past couple of years. Right. You were in traffic yesterday, you're in traffic today, same places. So Thank basically, you. traffic stinks once again today? Yes. Okay. You see, uh, that was us being edgy. That was our ed our first edgy break ever. This was us, like, going against management, because they really wanted us to do traffic, so we're like, watch what we do with this one. Watch what we do. Oh, God. <laughs> Time for one more before a break. As you wow. guys lasted past this first whirlwind day. Hey, uh, this next uh, break, I, I, it, it's just labeled, Anthony takes a cab. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> what? Is this another look at me, I'm a New Yorker kind of uh, break? break? Fantastic. <laughs> Anthony takes a cab. Anthony buys a, a wiener on the road side. <laughs> wow. I'm just being a New Yorker. Anthony takes a horse and carriage ride. Yeah, look at that's me. that's what New Yorkers do. <sighs> Anthony's going to take in a ball game. Yeah. yeah. Anthony goes to Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Because they wanted us to sound like New Yorkers. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's listen to... And then it, it this, this turned into eventually me... Hailing a cab in Nazi regalia <laughs> to see if I could get a cab before a black guy. Yeah. See? That video does very well, by the way. Yeah, it does. It's up on YouTube. Maybe we can link it. ONARadio.com. Anthony takes a cab. This is uh, 10 years ago. If you're just tuning in, mm. we found out it's our 10-year anniversary being in uh, New York City Radio, even though we've only done about seven years and nine months of actual radio. But we started 10 years ago yesterday and oh. today. Oh. Speaking of traffic, yeah. did I beat you to the studio today? You did. It's, you know, big story in the news is all the the cars that are coming into Manhattan these days. Yeah. It's just huge amounts of cars. You can't these drive. Days? Especially. What? <laughs> what, what is, I can't get through a minute of this audio. I can't get through it without commenting. What am I talking about? It was headline news. A lot of cars today, folks. Read wow, all about you know, let me, let me let people in on a little uh, secret. A lot of cars in New York City. These days. These days. <laughs> you know, I remember a few months back, eh, nothing. It was apple carts that people were pushing down the streets. Don Corleone was getting some fruit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big news there, OB. Yeah, let me tell you, a lot of cars these days. I don't what? Think, I don't think I've ever been more uncomfortable. A dick. <sighs> wow. And these days. Yeah. There's just huge amounts of cars. You can't drive, especially uh, in the middle of the day. 
It's crazy. Well, uh, a lot of crazy. people want to get to know us and stuff, and let me tell you one thing. Do they? Do they really? Do, do they, they really want to oh, get to know us? Oh, do they really want to get to know us? A lot of people. <laughs> Jimmy, what do you got on that? I'm saying people really want to get people to know really us. really want to get to know us. Why don't you tell the fine folks out there a little bit about Opie and Anthony? <laughs> well, they probably want to know, like, who are these two tools wasting my time? <laughs> I have to know who they are. What do they have to know? This is so bad. We're just <laughs> lying. No, a lot of people You're a liar! That. This is some of the most dishonest radio I've ever heard because it's not us. Yeah. We're not acting or talking like us. Yeah. We're just we're we're just telling lies about what we've done to try to sound more New York. We're acting like we showed up and it was like the Beatles. <laughs> Like, we had to, like, kind of run into the building to start our radio oh, show. Of course. And they're pounding on the windows. People and, just wanted to meet us and, and, and see and us. Phones and phones are ringing. They just need to, like, they just need to soak up everything Opie and Anthony. Oh. Our phones were, like, this, our phones weren't even ringing. No. And the ones that were, it was, it was an occasional call that said, shut up and play the music. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you guys just shut up and play the music? Well, we're telling everyone, oh, everyone needs to know everything about us. Were Remember we the doing live that... calls at that point, or were we still recording calls and playing them? Recording. We were recording calls. Were we? Because we were, like, if we took them live, it was just, you guys suck. Yeah. Get off the air. And then we'd hear the fax machine start, like, yeah, revving up, and we, we were just... We would both just stare at oh, it. Oh, here comes a compliment. I know I it. I wonder what this is. I know someone's going to be saying something oh. really nice through oh. their facts. Well, it's a deli menu. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's so weird. It's crazy. Facts, by the way, to huh? you guys saying facts so much. Yeah. No one faxes and stuff. But it's amazing. No. Like in the last 10 years, how much things have changed. This was yeah. really at the end of the whole fax run. People ask you today, like, do you have a fax? No. Fax? What? My house? No. Well, Why would I? Uh, sometimes you got to fax contracts back and yeah, forth. You'd always it's the only do. reason I have one. I don't. Mm -hmm. You're probably right have to have one. one. You should have one just for that. I know Bob's always yelling at us for not having, uh, yeah, or I'm not, not us, you, <laughs> an Opie. <laughs> Whatever. I don't have a four foot beal. Foot, foot beal. <laughs> four foot beal? I don't have one of those either. I don't even know what it is. I like to play foot beal. <laughs> foot beal. <laughs> Facts. What is that? I don't even know how much money I make. <laughs> I really don't. I have no clue. I ask Anthony every once in a while, and he tells me. I'm like, oh, okay. Not as much as a couple of months ago, apparently. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> mm. You can't drive, especially uh, in the middle of the day. It's crazy. Well, uh, a lot of people want to get to know us and stuff, and let me tell you one thing. Opie, that's me, okay? Mm -hmm. We're both uh, staying in uh, hotels right now in the city. Opie likes to walk to NEW, likes to walk the 12 to 14 You're blocks. Dumb. Anthony, the lazy one, <laughs> doesn't like to walk. To the I'm NEW not studio. lazy. I'm just doing things right up to the minute, so I want to jump into a cab and get here. I'm online. I'm doing things. So Opie gets to see all the fine sights of New York City, and Anthony, I don't know, he's in a smelly cab. So, but but if Anthony's, in a, wouldn't he also be seeing? Like, I could see. Seeing yeah. what there are windows in a cab, in a Opie. Trunk? <laughs> it's like like a, a hostage, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and what's with my hold? Yeah, I'm doing things. I'm online. I'm just, uh, I was trying to it's that voice I put on. I'm trying to convince everyone I'm a Christ. I'm a true New Yorker. I'm yeah, walking, you're walking your rollerblade like, and I'm you're taking, making buds. I'm taking it all in. Yeah, you're soaking it in, man. I'm walking the streets. I'm, uh, yeah. Oh, where was a homeless guy to just cave your head in? You should have had your hat removed at some point. It's <laughs> <sighs> in New York City, and Anthony, I don't know, he's in a smelly cab. And Yeah, I got to listen to this. <laughs> Hi, this is John Rivers. <laughs> Buckle up for safety. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Hi, this is Judd Hirsch. I know a little something about taxi cabs. <laughs> <laughs> Like, all right, enough. I heard that eight billion times. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, it's the cat woman. Buckle up for safety. Oh, God, can you get some more celebrities? Please. <laughs> enough. I've only heard those three. But uh, about two blocks from the station, I actually passed your cab. Yeah, I looked out the window. It's like, oh, me. <laughs> can I tell you something? That didn't happen. <laughs> That didn't happen. More lies. Anthony did not pass me in a cab as I was walking. 
You know what? You know what the odds of that would be? Two to one. <laughs> You're a liar. But... <laughs> See, I needed to. I needed to say that to make our point that cars move really slow in Manhattan. Yeah. I actually passed your cab. Yeah, I looked out the window. It's like, oh, <laughs> right. wait a minute. We, we left at the same time. Same time. Yeah. It took me, I, I think, 10 minutes to get a cab. Uh-huh. And then uh, I told him where we were going. He turns the corner. Eh, dead stop traffic. Oh, yeah. there goes Opie walking by. <laughs> Bye. It was a free ride for me. It caught were you even staying in the city at a hotel? I don't even think no, you were. No, I wasn't. I was, I was in uh, Huntington. Uh, yeah, because I had already gotten a house just, to for rent. We're just lying to be so, liked. Opie was staying in a hotel. I wasn't. I was staying. Uh, I, I had already rented a house, so I was driving in. <laughs> so I was driving in every day. Right. Bye. <laughs> it was a free ride for me. It cost you ten bucks. Mm-hmm. All right. How how are the rest of the faxes? Uh. Good. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, except for this one. <laughs> oh, good. And, and this one. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, and this one. <laughs> right. Well, we're warming up. At least so. we kind of acknowledge the right. fact that we were getting bashed on the fax yeah, machine. Yeah, we're warming up a little bit. Wow. I don't know. Maybe we'll play a few more after the break. There is one that says, uh, summer songs, fudgy wudgy bars. You didn't bring back the fudgy wudgy bar from hey, Rock. Oh, you? it's me talking about fudgy wudgy oh. bars. <laughs> also, uh, we discussed the weather for two minutes and thirty-seven <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh, stinkeroo! New movies coming out, and I have a cute story about getting a speeding ticket. Be nostalgic. Anything you want to say, e Rock? What's on the way here? Uh, no, it speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's uh, Opie and Anthony, 877-212-ONA, some audio from 10 years ago. I'm depressed. I'm all <laughs> flustered. I know. I'm, I'm all flustered. I don't know what I should sound like. <laughs> you know how many times I thought in the last hour and a half that I'm just a fraud? <laughs> <laughs> a fraud? That's a good word for like, it. What am I doing? Uh, Ugh. All right, we, uh, we go back in time. 10 years ago, we did our first show. For uh, New York City, because everyone was just clamoring for us. Oh, yeah. They were writing and going, where where are those Opie and Anthony guys? We need them here in New York City. Yep. Oh, now they're here. Thank God. Thank God. They're here to save radio. That's that's what we were hoping. God. The next uh, break, uh, we talk about summer songs, I guess, and fudgy wudgy bars. This is us it's 10 years ago, today and yesterday or something. Right. Like. 1027 WNEW, where Rock lives. Spin Doctors, Little Miss, Can't Be Wrong from 1992. I got to mention, uh, back in 1992, you couldn't go anywhere without hearing that song on the... Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, it's just being a rock jag. Really? I had to mention that one? That was pertinent information for everybody out there. Little Miss, Can't Be Wrong. You know, back in 92, <laughs> coming at you. It's wrong with informing people about the music. Got it. No, it's wrong. No, Got it. No one gives a crap. I don't care. <laughs> Go anywhere without hearing that song on the beaches yeah. of New York. That was the summer song. Then. And now I got to like uh, bring in the beaches of New York because we're talking about all... Of New York, we we took care of the cabs, Central Park, the Peep shows, Times Square. Now it's time to talk about the beaches because yeah. we know New Yorkers go to the beaches too. Sure, let's try to hit everything. <laughs> gonna... And again, I'm just agreeing. Yeah. Next break, we're going to uh... talk about skyscrapers. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they hire us? How desperate were they? I thought we were good in Boston, but no kidding. What happened? That was the summer song that year. Of 1992, yeah. I do believe. I wonder what this year's song's going to be. Hmm. No songs, uh, you know, stand out yet. Was I pondering that? that? Was I actually pondering? Hmm. Can you put, hmm. Can you put this picture up? Ugh. Of uh, Anthony and I with the lead singer yep. of the Spin Doctors. Bloated Anthony. Oh, Chris, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, actually. he's really cool. We've seen him over the years. ONARadio.com will put some of these older pictures up. Ugh. Christ. Don't stand out yet. No. As far as that one killer summer song. 
Hmm. Remember Come On Eileen? <laughs> yeah. That was a summer song. <laughs> right? Why are you laughing? Why would I laugh at Come On Eileen? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah, I remember that, Hopi. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just laugh. And I laugh because you're uncomfortable. And I'm trying to, like, uh, you know, sound sexy for everybody. Yeah. But that's... Don't want to be too harsh with the delivery, you know. What is it, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> tell why don't you tell us what it is, Jim? I'm only saying I've been listening. My my ears have been working for 39 years. Yeah, and yeah. I've heard a lot of conversations. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you too on the most inane conversation <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> That's a summer song. I remember. Yeah. What? talking about Ugh. where rock lives <laughs> does it live here and it doesn't live anywhere else no what does that say for every other radio station that's playing rock what does that mean where rock lives we are just audio diarrhea <laughs> that's what this is <laughs> just creating water water cooler talk Oh, did you hear their break on summer songs? Oh, you got to listen to these two. <laughs> That's uh, these guys. You can't turn them off. <laughs> I was sitting in my car in front of work. I had to be in. You should have heard their spin doctor break. It's one for the ages. I got to tell you. One I couldn't get out of my car. I was late for work. I had to, I had to know how is this going to end? Hopefully with a firing. <laughs> and just when you thought they couldn't get crazier, they mentioned, come on, Eileen. And Anthony and me, at the same time, were just laughing and laughing. He's on the radio laughing. I'm in my car just laughing. Were you really laughing there, Ann? I didn't catch that. Oh, please, play it again. I'd love to hear that again, Hope, if you don't mind. Summer songs. I mean, summer songs. Can you believe it? Can oh. you believe it? Summer song. Hmm. Remember Come On, Eileen? <laughs> yeah. That was a summer song. <laughs> right? Yeah. Come on. I would like to know what you're laughing at. What the heck? <laughs> there better have been something funny going. Someone better have hit someone with a pie. Maybe that's what happened. It was a visual gag that didn't play for the radio. Someone got hit with a big cream pie in the face, and I started laughing. Because there's no way I should be laughing from Opie just saying, come on, Eileen. And it was contagious because then other people were laughing. God, I just want to go back and punch me in the face. Why? Because I stunk. Hey, then you're just having fun. Shut it. You made a joke, you left. <laughs> yeah. That was a summer song. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, good song, but wherever you went that year. But it wasn't a good song. That was a summer song. As you're laying on Jones Beach. See, now let's go. Here we go. Ah. Not only are we talking about beaches, now we're, we got to mention Jones Beach because that's a local beach. I don't think you've ever laid on Jones Beach in your life. <laughs> Passed out, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> at least, not, at least, whenever he was on Jones Beach, he always had a collared shirt and boots on and jeans. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, Nick from Connecticut has it absolutely down. Uh, he he hit the nail on the head. Nick. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing, man? Yeah, I was just listening. I noticed Anthony uh, from those old clips. It's exactly what's going on there. You just have a nervous tick and. The only thing you can do is laugh. Yeah, it's I, I'm I, laughing out of like being nervous and uh, being yeah. uncomfortable, and I feel I have exactly. to just laugh at, at everything. Uh, uh, yeah, Nick's on to it. It was pretty much, uh -huh. <laughs> I can't believe that we're here. This is insane. <laughs> Come on, Eileen. <laughs> and here's what's going on in my head. <laughs> Why did he say that? I better laugh so people think what was just said is funny. We're laughing inside our brains. It's... <laughs> We have no business being here. For saying nothing. As you're laying on Jones Beach here in Fudgy Wudgy Bars. <laughs> Fudgy Wudgy Bars. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be back, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, wow. Did you just say it's good to be back, isn't it? <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> this, this, is, this is as painful as our first show ever. No, it's maybe not, even more no because we had been in radio no for years way. already. No way. Although I do, I do. This is funny. Yeah, if you play that, I want to hear this joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Uh, listen to what song is on. It just makes this you is laugh. hysterical. It just makes you Come laugh. Come on. Oh, is that funny? Oh, wow, you gotta be kidding me. God. <laughs> It's so funny. It just brings laughter, this song. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, are you laughing out there? Are you? (laughs) Well, you know, as Opie did say, it is a good song. (laughs) That was the worst. You couldn't believe that even that. Like your mouth open and things just came out of it. Uh, people are complaining they're getting douchey wooshy chills. <laughs> <laughs> douchey wooshy. <laughs> Horrid. Uh, Brendan from Long Island writes, Opie sounded like Samantha from Sex and the City when he described, come on, Eileen. Speaking of. <laughs> Horrible. Well, uh, why don't we uh, play this next break? We're almost done for today. Oh. Uh, the next break, uh, we discussed the weather. Yeah, at least it was a quick little hit yeah, on the yeah, weather. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Rock lives, Led Zeppelin, of course. I got to remind the people, all right, when you hear It's Only Rock and Roll by the Rolling Stones later this hour, be the 10th caller, and you've got a <laughs> hacky radio Hack. contest. We were Hack. doing a hacky radio contest. Hack. Hey, when you hear it, hey, yeah. that'll get the TSL up. <laughs> people spend more time listening. We're looking to build Q. Yeah. Ugh. What? Or be I the tenth ch- call. I hope I choke on this got camel. A four pack of tickets to see. <laughs> four pack. A four pack. Yeah. I can roll by the Rolling Stones later this hour. Be the tenth caller, and you've got a four pack of tickets to see Don Henley, Pete Townsend, Stevie Nicks, and Joni Mitchell. Friday, August fourteenth, and Saturday, August fifteenth. It's a day in the garden at Yasker's Farm, Bethel, New York. <laughs> and I hope it's not hot as hell like today. Ho ho! The baked apple today, Hopi. <laughs> Why did I say that? The, I, the big what? The baked apple. I was trying to be sarcastic. That's the only defense <laughs> I'll give myself. I was trying to sound like one of those puker jocks. Not knowing that Opie was already doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> He's referring to, you know, every time it got really hot because New York City is known as the big apple, but we barely say that anymore in New York City, that the apple would now be baked because it's baked so apple. hot. And uh, the front page of the newspapers back in the day would show like an apple, kind of like you know a baked oh. apple, because it was so hot. Yeah, you know, so you sh- hot. You should have said the, the stinky apple. You know why? Why, Jimmy? Because this stinks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so bad. <laughs> hot as hell, like today. Oh, ho, the baked apple today, Hopi. <laughs> yeah, we should introduce ourselves because it's our second day. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey, what's oh? So this is second, second day too. Day. Wow. So now we're, we're gonna rule. <laughs> wow, we're. Uh... Oh. We got to introduce ourselves because you know the word is out. You know I've been listening to these guys, I, I, but I don't know their names. I just need to know more. <laughs> it's our second day. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey, what's up? What's up? It's it sucks outside. Hot There's- town, summer in the city. <laughs> what? Were you too far to punch me? <laughs> were you too far away? I can't remember the console. Perhaps you were just too far away to lean over and bitch slap me. When are they going to build that time machine? When? You're, when? Uh, you're kidding. I would... I'm going to go home, and I'm going to be very depressed today. Yeah, I was kidding, but I don't think people really knew I was kidding. And I, I really sounded stupid. <laughs> What's up? What's up? It's It sucks outside. Hot There's... town. Summer in the city. <laughs> Opie. Whoa, that temperature. <laughs> sure is going up the old thermometer today. It's the baked apple. <laughs> But we're very... Oh, how we're, tired are you hearing that? Well, we're very prepared for the heat wave in the very. city because we were watching the new news today on Channel 2. No, every newscast. Oh, I thought it was just Channel... Oh, uh, we still do this break today. Oof. Yeah, uh-oh. The old... It's hot Boy, break. You drill that into the goddamn ground. This could be I embarrassing. Drop the F-bomb. <laughs> this could be embarrassing because I think we do this break still. <laughs> every newscast. Oh, I thought it was just Channel 2. Top story uh, telling us... Things that I think are common sense. Hmm? Uh, make sure you, you drink plenty of fluids. You know, you might be thirsty, and unless we told you, forget to drink. <laughs> you know, so we're here to let you know. We're like comfortable clothing. You know, I, 
I saw somebody ready to leave in a parka this morning, and I said, hey, it's going to be pretty hot. Maybe you ought to wear something light. And he said, hey, thank you. I probably would have died. Yeah, I don't understand why. They have to go on the news and state the obvious. Drink plenty of fluids. Wear the light, comfortable clothing. Yeah. What about this one? Check on the elderly. Check the elderly. They shouldn't be outdoors today. You know, if you made it to 80, 85 years old, you mm -hmm. know how to handle yourself in the heat, right? I think there's probably been a couple of heat waves that they've lived through. Right. You know, and, and the other one is uh, don't overexert yourself. <laughs> you know, if you planned on lifting a few cars in this heat, uh, don't. Don't do that. I thought we were going to run a marathon in Central Park today. Mm -hmm. Today's the perfect day, right? And uh, no alcohol. No alcohol. And I don't understand this because in the wintertime, yeah. when uh, you get the first snowfall and they go through the laundry list of things to do when it snows, yeah. uh, they also tell you don't drink. They just when, when the hell are we supposed to drink? Yeah, they just don't want <laughs> us to drink anymore. I think that's it. <laughs> hey, it's a mild day in the 70s. And remember, no alcohol. Right. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> I want a beer. I like a wobbly pop every once in a while. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> oh, no. Perhaps the oh. time to drink is during the show. I think. If you're listening. What was a wobbly pop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew. What was that? I knew Jimmy couldn't leave that one alone. <laughs> well, Jimmy, if you need to know, a wobbly pop is a beer. Because if you have uh, enough of them, you start wobbling around as you try to walk. Ew. Why not just Ooh. say a lope wiser? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted wobbly pop to, to catch on. <laughs> Knowing how much of a douche I really am, I wanted that to catch on. I wanted people uh, to just kind of walk around New York pointing at me, hey, wobbly oh, pop. You're the wobbly pop guy. Is that is that like a weird, I never heard of the, the, that term before. Is that like saying uh, I'm going to get a brew? Like it's just another word for a beer? I think brewski. But it's kind of like the same vibe? Ugh. I never yeah. heard wobbly pop. I want a beer. I like a wobbly pop every once in a while, especially on a Friday. I found it Yeah, so funny. you'll hear that ad nauseum for the next couple of days because it's going to be hot. Well, the best is when they show the graphic and they just lax you idiot. The baked apple. Yeah. It's not the big apple anymore. It's the baked apple this yes. weekend. So, And there's a fat person alert today. <laughs> Stay clear. Fat people could explode in the city today. Very hot. How hot is it? <laughs> Hot town, summer in the city. That's right, OP. I can't even look at you. I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Who thought this crap was gonna work? How's wrong with everybody? All right, we're almost done. When, when did we turn the corner? When they uh, question is when will you? <laughs> <laughs> when they wheeled in that first case of Budweiser? Yeah, maybe that had something to do with it. It's not that bad. I would love to really trash it, but it's like, yeah. This was before the big um, It's not meeting. that good either, though. This was before the big meeting that me and Ope had when we decided we were not going to listen to management. Remember that? But you got to also understand, we just got fired. We just mm -hmm. blew up our careers, so we had to kind of listen to everybody around us. And then we're, we started realizing, oh, my God, we're going to... We're going to be out of uh, New York radio within months if we continue like doing, doing this doing horrid, this horse, you know what. Horrid radio. So then we're like, ah, we have nothing to lose, so why don't we use our real voices again like we were doing up there in Worcester. Here's uh, us talking about new movies coming out. All right. A couple new movies out. What do you got? Uh, out of Sight, George Clooney and Jennifer Lopez. I love Jennifer Lopez. I, I don't. No, you don't. I, I don't like Jennifer you're, Lopez. Uh, once I again, never liked Jennifer Lopez. You're lying. Because that was the thing to say. I th I, I always thought her ass was fucking She's a, huge. Uh, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> easy with easy with the language there. Sorry. I, you're I, lying again. I, yes. I, I Yeah. Her ass was way too big. I hated Jennifer Lopez. Uh, but I liked the delivery. Oh, I, oh, I love Yeah, her. I love Jennifer Lopez. Couple new movies out. What do you got? Uh, out of Sight, George Clooney and Jennifer Lopez. I love Jennifer Lopez. I want to stalk her. <laughs> she was in town. I tried Laugh. to find her, but no luck. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with Dr. Doolittle, though. Yeah, so do I. Uh, Eddie Murphy's new movie. Mm -hmm. Depending on what paper you read today, it's not looking good at all. He's really taking that Robin Williams tack, where he's just grabbing up these uh, lame movies. Right. Like that. 
Right. I don't know. Right, Chris Rock is the hamster? Yeah, I, I'm going to go see it just to see Chris Rock as the hamster. we got to get him on our show again. I hear he studied. Do we? Do we have to get him? <laughs> hey, do we, you douche? <laughs> do we? Oh, we got to get him. This is awful. Here's something. I don't think we ever had Chris Rock on the show. <laughs> no. I think the first time he did our show was when he sat there. Got to get him on again. A few months ago. Yeah. Cause, yeah. yeah. Because, you know, we, we're friends. He doesn't know we're back in New York yet. <laughs> he probably couldn't get through on the facts because all the uh, NEW legends were faxing their congrats. <laughs> we gotta get him back on the show, Jimmy. This, Chris Rock, oh, here it is, uh, Sean the producer saying, Chris Rock is a hamster. Wow, that's my requirement for seeing a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you were so excited. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Holy God. See Chris Rock as the hamster. We got to get him on our show again. I hear he studied for that by hanging out with a uh, Richard Gere. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I didn't do a Richard Gere hamster joke. Ten years ago. Doesn't matter. It, it does. was it was hacked ten years ago. It's not as bad as it, it would does be. matter, Jimmy. Not ten it years. It does ago. matter. Gives it a little leeway. Steve from Bay Shore saying I can't even take notes on this crap. He uses the other word uh, for the rundown. He says he can't even take notes on this. Mm -hmm. It's that awful. I uh, went back to the studio yesterday and took some pictures of where we used to sit. I think they're up on onaradio.com. Oh, really? Yeah. Got to get him on our show again. I hear he studied for that by hanging out with uh, Richard Gere. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> I don't know. I, do, I read that somewhere. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh, Hope. Yeah, well. Needed something. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> it, it needed something. You punch it up for me. Yeah, I was trying to. <laughs> <laughs> we sure could have used this. Speaking of Richard Gear, I haven't seen him around lately. Cause I'm all about <laughs> I'm all about town. <laughs> Ugh, I hate myself. You didn't see him while you were walking around to work? No. And I was in the cab. Uh, this is the the last one for today. We can't do any more. Thank you. And then maybe tomorrow we'll we'll show you where things did change. Yeah. We have to do this tomorrow because we don't want to leave them at this point. We need some vindication. We got the Carol Miller tapes where we just we, where we just slammed everybody, everybody. We finally had it with everyone. That was definitely the turning point. <sighs> the turning point was that that big mess they put together. Celebrating, I think, forty years of oh, you're right, of yeah. WNEW. the history of the oh. Rock of New York. Or they something. called it the evolution, or yeah, we called and we were calling it the air pollution <laughs> of the Rock of New York. It was the evolution of the Rock of New York, and it, was, so. and it was so effed up because all the other jocks were playing it, you know, straight. Yeah, like uh, you know, they were really into it, and Anthony and I were like, "This is horse crap." Yeah, because they were they were changing the format, right? And we couldn't understand why they were celebrating this format that they're throwing away. Right. Like, it's such a great thing, then why are you throwing it away? Right, and then the jocks just really got pissed because we That's weren't taking, hated us, taking yeah. it seriously. Really started hating us. And, uh, I, you know, I'll give her some credit. Carol Miller was the only one brave enough to, to you know, say it to our face. Sizz. The rest were doing it behind the scenes and, like, you know, offices and stuff. Mm -hmm. Here's the last one for today. Faxes are spilling out like crazy. So far, we're finding out they're, they're not. Like crazy, oh. No. You say that when... Are you saying you were lying? Yes. Wow. That never happened back then. When you, <laughs> when you hear, like, faxes are spilling out like crazy, that means the fax machine probably isn't even on. There's no paper in it. Right. <laughs> faxes are spilling out like crazy. So far, we're finding out that the cops like us. I like that. We like that a lot. If I'm a supporter of the police. We're all supporters mm -hmm. of the police here at NEW. My first PBA mm -hmm. card, I think. Y you, I mean, there there were times uh, you would speed. Right. I think you got, you have more speeding tickets than I've ever gotten. I got, yeah, yeah that, that's weird because, I, yeah, that has completely mm -hmm. changed. I got three yeah. speeding tickets in three states within uh, 10 days. That's my record. Are we actually taking up on this break? Huh? Are we actually retaking up this break now? What do you mean? You know, you started from 10 years ago, that clip, and now we just talk about it. Oh, no, no, no. Let it play, <laughs> oh, out. No, no, Let no, it no. play out. I think you got, you have more speeding tickets than I've ever gotten. I got four speeding tickets in a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, that's why I'm glad I'm back in the New York area, because there's not many. See, and I just lied to everyone out there. I said three tickets in 10 days. 
Of course you didn't. <laughs> I'm just a liar. That's Wait, why I'm glad to be back. What? Did you get three in ten days or no? I don't think it was a year and a half. Who, no. who knows what to believe? <laughs> are you lying now or are you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know, Jimmy. <laughs> Oh, he's just a compulsive liar. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who am I? But it's not only always a lie about that. It's such an unimportant thing to lie I don't about. Know. <laughs> I just went on live and said, no, I, you know, I got three speeding tickets in 10 days. And then we played the tape from 10 years ago, and I said three speeding tickets in a year and a half. Like, that is like, whoa, well, he, he's out of control. Yeah. How is that out of control? That's that's pretty average. But the way you just said it may seem like you got the record. Like, I know the record is stands as such, because I have... <laughs> Three and ten days. You even had the states. Well, you know, it's funny because the time zone breakdown. <laughs> and now you're like, I don't know if that's true. F. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, that's why I'm glad I'm back in the New York area because there's not many places you could speed anymore. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so I'm going to be safe for a while. Not in downtown. Right. But if you want to send a fax to the pile, 212. <sighs> to the pile. To the big pile. Giant pile. So many faxes, I can't even see Anthony anymore. Hmm. And, and he meant if you want to send a fax to the pile of crap that's talking, <laughs> meaning the show. Ugh. Wow. Ten years ago, our first show in New York City. Oh, God damn. <laughs> the disc just got thrown at E-Rock. Uh, Thanks, E-Rock. E-Rock, okay. you've culled some great stuff for us. Thank you. What's We're going to start with this. Uh, we've been looking back at our first show in Shit. New York City. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, we played every clip except for one. Oh, well, now, why? We weren't allowed to play uh, this clip over there, even though it originally That's... happened on regular radio. Why is that? Because there was an Asian thing. <laughs> oh, oh, my fucking God. <laughs> God oh, I my thought... fucking God. I thought the horror was over. <laughs> so oh. we have one more clip to play for everybody. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I didn't want to tell you over there, Jimmy, because I knew you would lose your mind. I really wouldn't, though. It's, it's not. It's just. It's just ridiculous. It is what it is. Stop already! It, it is goes what it with is. the whole thing we were talking about with the the catch a predator and you know executives just folding like like tents left and right. They got to <laughs> they got to stop folding to these special interest groups, and then we could go back to doing what we know. Uh, go back to doing what we know how to do how to do right sure. It'll never so, change, though, because they're, they're, they're just cowards. That's why they're on the outside doing what they do. Yep. Well, the XMers get a, a bonus track. Bonus track. Bonus track. Ten years ago, Anthony and I did our first show in New York City. Played uh, just about all these clips earlier. We have one mm -hmm. more to play. Anthony doing his President Clinton impression. He's on the phone, making believe he's calling from China. What? And we were not allowed to play this on regular radio today. Why was I doing that? Thanks to JV and Elvis. No, not that. And we them. love JV and Elvis. I'm just joking. Those guys, like, should never have been fired. They did some Asian humor. Special interest group got involved. So the company just folded and fired those guys. Because it, because it was Corolla that started it with CBS. Right. Because he was the one that got in trouble. Um, mm. And then instead of telling these fucking... The, 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 the special age, just go fuck yourself. Yeah. The advertisers are always cowards. Right. The product whores. Oh, I hate everybody except myself. So even though this happened 10 years ago and there was not a uh, blip of controversy. Why was I we weren't allowed to We weren't allowed to uh, replay it this morning because any type of Asian humor is off limits. As President Clinton. Because he was in China. Oh, okay. Here we go. 10 years ago. Uh, speaking of uh, perversion, as you were earlier, Opie. No, I wasn't speaking of perversion. Give, give us a couple weeks before we start speaking of perversion. <laughs> President Clinton. Yes. In his uh, search for, I guess, fortune cookie nookie is, is in... <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I didn't fucking say that. No, it sucks. I didn't. Now Jimmy, we... you, you heard something wrong. I didn't say that. We get to look at douche chills. I've never looked at douche chills before. Yeah. But... But there's five or six, I don't know, people on the bleachers today, and I'm looking at douche chills. They're in shock oh. out there. Why? That was a good line. 
Huh? It rhymes and stuff. Shitty. It was horrid. Speaking of fortune cookies. Uh, speaking of uh, perversion, as you were earlier, Opie. Oh, no, comes. I wasn't speaking of perversion. <laughs> give, give, give us a couple weeks before we start speaking of perversion. <laughs> President Clinton. Yes. In his uh, search for, I guess, fortune cookie nookie is, <laughs> is, in, <laughs> is in China. Hey, Opie found it funny. Huh? You found it funny. Oh, you were lying again. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. Just feeling, feeling good. You know. Ugh. Just keep laughing to, to keep the bit going. That's oh. me. You don't think I don't know? <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Shut up. Kenster. Good timing with that rapid fire line, Ant. <laughs> hey, fuck. Why? You wanted to know about some fortune cookie nookie? <laughs> yeah, it rhymed. Star Wars fortune cookie Jimmy nookie. loves this. I, I certainly do. Too bad you weren't watching Star Wars, because then maybe the Wookiee wanted some fortune cookie nookie. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you suck. Were you guys gambling after, too? Because maybe the Wookiee, who's a bookie, wanted some fortune cookie nookie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's just sit till Jim gets this out of his system. <laughs> I'm running through the alphabet. <laughs> There's no such thing as a zookie. Uh, you already used cookie. <laughs> a xylophone? No, X. No, no. A yucky? No. Yeah, yucky. <laughs> is is in is in China. Much to the chagrin of a lot of uh, his critics, because he's going to actually be visiting Tiananmen Square, uh -oh. the site of that uprising in '89. Yes, that the Chinese really. Uh, kind of massacred some people there. But he's going to go there for a big ceremony. I think he's there already, actually, dude. Not in Tiananmen Square. He's oh, in okay. China, though. All right. And um, a couple of questions. I, I just wish we could contact him. i got a question I'd love to ask him. Gee. Well, gee, I wonder. Here comes you know. the awkward transition. Yeah. And Ladies and gentlemen, you're about bit. to hear the awkward transition. Bring on the bit. As we bring on the bit. Oh, God. We don't know how to seg into the bit. Yeah, though. All right. And um, a couple of questions. I, I just wish we could contact him. I got a question I'd love to ask him. Well, what a coincidence. I what, what, Opie? I thought it was... Oh. Guys, just go home. I really, can't. Um, there's, there's why? You, you guys are you're setting it up. No, just tell I, him to go home. I there's really listen. nothing to see here. Just, yeah. just go this. home. To put it back up, let's give it another looky. <laughs> <laughs> <You suck. laughs> Oh my god! I don't think this I've, is horrible. I don't think I've heard Anthony say chagrin since. Why would he say chagrin? What is he a rookie? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking gum under this thing. It's all gooky. <laughs> <laughs> Fortune cookie, cookie. No, it's kind of cute. What was I thinking? I don't know. And I'd love to ask him. Well, what shooky. a coincidence. <laughs> what, what, OP? I thought it was going to take six to eight months before we had some uh, high-profile celebrities on our show. Why months. am I trying to sell this like we're actually going to talk to Clinton? Scott from Hot Pog. Oh, looky, looky. Bill Clinton was also playing hooky. Oh, hooky. God damn it. Hooky, yeah. Well, what a coincidence, Anthony. <laughs> Before we had some uh, high-profile celebrities on our show. Don't tell me you've actually got the president on the phone. <laughs> I sure do, Anthony. <laughs> doing hey, that President Clinton. Hello, Opie. Hello, Anthony. What's going on? You're in China, I yeah, hear. I'm, I'm here in China spreading goodwill. Now, I got a problem with this. What, what's the problem? There's not a lot of people in China that uh, speak English. So how are you communicating with the people? Well, um, I'm going to have a, a Chinese interpreter that I take with me. His name is uh, Dong. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. You're no, no, his, his name Wait. isn't... Um, Hold on, I, I, I like that joke. Jimmy, it's Jimmy, a funny Jimmy. Shut up. I want to point out why I like it. It's a funny name, but it kind of sounds like a penis in our life. <laughs> and something tells me there's going to be a little misunderstanding. <laughs> a little double entendre. Wow, this is going to be like a Three's Company episode. Are we sure heading is. down the double entendre road? <laughs> yes. Jimmy gets, he, he kicks back in his chair. He's holding the mic in his hand and just waiting to pounce. Right now, I'm a, a, a little... 
wounded gazelle at the water hall, yeah. and Jimmy is a tiger. This is going to be the uh, the Three's Company episode when it was eight rolls, and he grabbed his chest <laughs> and did the old nose to the floor behind the fucking sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Mike on Long Island. Hello, Mike. Mike. How are you doing? Uh, in news today, Opa, uh, Chewbacca got signed to a new team, and he's got a gambling problem, and he loves Agent Hookers. And the news read that the Wookiee rookie hid from his bookie while searching for Fortune Cookie Nookie. Huh, Ann? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Punch it out. Yeah, I could see that happen. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Ah, some support from, okay. from my sister Dawn. Oh, that's good, because I turned off my phone. <laughs> she writes... I'm shutting you off now. Ew. This is worse than hearing you talk about your sex life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Gabe from thanks, Staten Island. Don. Uh, Jimmy, I think you might have missed one. This bit is a steaming pile of no, dookie. No, he says it doesn't count. That's dookie. It's dookie. Dookie. No. It's not Nothing? Good. No. No. He's what? wrong. Oh, man. What? Nope. Fortune <laughs> dookie milky. Uh, Opie is so excited during this bit. Did he make cumsies? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm going to have a, a Chinese interpreter that I take with me. His name is uh, Dong. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Your Chinese interpreter, is his name is Dong? <laughs> yes, my Dong. My <laughs> oh. Chinese interpreter. I, I wouldn't dream of uh, coming to China without my Dong. <laughs> Come on. Yes, the, the Chinese people. Oh, come on. Come on. My Dong see. is uh, the interpreter. See? My, my favorite part so far is him going, come on. Like, come quit, on. Like, quit razzing me. Stop. <laughs> it isn't really my Dong, come is on. it? Come You're on. You're pulling my leg. President Clinton, is it really my Dong? And this is why we do not write bits. This is the genius stuff that people just loved. Well, it was our first show. We got better. Well, my dong. He never goes anywhere without my dong. Without my dong, because he needs, he needs uh, also known as his cock. Right. <laughs> See, it's a subtle way of saying he takes his cock with him to fuck women. But if he, if Are we going to have more cock jokes, you think? I think some my dong is going to get into some adventures. If the guy's name was Chin Wa, it wouldn't have been as funny. No, wouldn't have made any sense. I think my dong is going to get into some cunts. Not <laughs> <laughs> uh, my dong. <laughs> Come on. Yes, the, the Chinese people will know what I'm about through my dong. <laughs> now, President Clinton, will this interpreter be helping you with any policy makings over there in China? No, no, he, he's strictly an interpreter. As, as soon as my dong starts thinking for me, that's when I get in trouble. <laughs> I see, okay. Some people say that there there's a better choice of interpreters out there, but I got to tell you, I stand behind my dong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, All right, Mr. Clayton. Can play we'll the radio huh? today? No. This innocent bit? Yeah. Oh, the whole country should be fucking firebombed. What's wrong with, you know, my dong? Fucking A. Yeah, there's no uh, Asian accent. Oh, it's no. so fucking ridiculous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Clinton, we'll let you go, okay? Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Ha have fun in China with your dong. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> wow. And, and there he goes, the president himself. Huh? Is that an exclusive? I do believe uh, no I other radio is. station is talking to the president right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you two would just please just punch with yourselves, aren't you? Uh, with a, after a bit like that, <laughs> after that, home why run. wouldn't we be? Hey, for 1998, that was radio gold, my friend. For 1910, that wasn't radio gold. <laughs> you two kicked your feet up. Let's celebrate that home run. And why did Opie say, "Have fun with your of your course. dong"? You said your dong. You should have said my dong because that's his name. Yeah. If you say your dong, now you're implying that he, he was talking about his his dick. Well. I never realized that glaring error ruined the bit. Thanks for making that me feel... That bit would have been really funny. Thanks for making me feel even better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. Did you get it? Did every, anyone get it? Or did we need some more fucking cock jokes put in there? We needed a... Ta-da! <laughs> uh, Kyle S. from Indiana writes, I've never been more embarrassed in my life. Yeah. 
Mm. Ten years ago, O&A never went anywhere without...